is the day we've been talking mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. it and letting everyone know what's to expect when you arrive. It's um, it's our home and garden show. Yep. Getting underway <laughs> right now. Yep. Rob Johnson joins us live as things are getting started on this Friday. Uh, always a lot of excitement, especially on that first day. Opening Rob. day. Yeah, it is. and the doors technically haven't opened yet because I haven't seen anybody walk in. But can you believe we're almost to a quarter century of the Home and Garden Show? This is 23 years we've been doing this. We're going to have about a hundred different, little more than a hundred different vendors in here. I'm standing in front of our WSAZ booth, and, and this is kind of, you already nailed it, the calm before the storm, but I got the king of the Home and Garden Show behind me, John Mara, on his throne. He's ready to answer your questions, and we love that he agreed to come out of retirement and help us again. And he is just one of the many attractions here. Uh, but just to my right, to your left, we have the petting zoo. Ooh. The music's starting. I guess the show's beginning. We have lambs and goats and bunnies that the little kids can come and pet on while mom and dad do a little looking to help the house. And moms and dads who want to do some things that home and garden like, the garden like, we're giving away free seeds to get your flowers going. Maybe start up a flower garden. Don't know what you're doing. Not really green thumb like I am. Well, up on this stage over here in this corner, Master gardeners and other experts through this whole weekend will be on that stage giving us lectures. Sometimes it's just question and answer where you can ask. I feel I, feel I sound dumb, but I don't know how to do this. What do I do to make it happen? They're going to be on stage to help you learn how to lay in a garden that works. When is the appropriate time to plant it? And then you can get some expert advice from John Mara. All of this is going to be going on tonight until 9, and then Saturday and Sunday as well, all day long, here in the Civic Center in Huntington, the Mountain Health Network Arena, which just got renamed. Lots of people are struggling with where is that, what is it. It's the same Civic Center in Huntington. It just got renamed, and it is full of vendors. Right now, no people, but join me in our next hour because I'm going to do another live report mm -hmm. for you. This looks like the Civic Center. Right. Wait till you see the part of this Civic Center I'm going to show you in the next hour, guys, because it does not even look like a Civic Center. <laughs> I have a feeling it has something to do with one of the guests, one of the hosts that uh -huh. actually have a booth right there. That's what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> You're a smart man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, every once in a while something doesn't get past me. Rob, thanks so much. Of course, everybody's looking forward to uh, John Mara asking John questions. John may even have a recipe for coffee cake. You never know. <laughs>